So I'm here in Tel Aviv. Uh, just finished a great, great work day. Uh, I don't really know if the word finished is the right word since I sit and work and then finish and then, you know, do fun stuff and then work again and then finish and then work again. Uh, but I enjoy every moment of it. So again, I'm not even sure about the definition of uh, work in this case. Sorry. Um, cool. So anyway, what I want to talk to you about today is how easy it actually is to create a situation where you do start making those uh, 1000 2000 3000 dollar sales and basically the shortcut uh, that's my entire uh, business philosophy uh, to finally seeing yourself grow and uh, succeed in your own uh, business again this is what I talk about in my free ebook which you can download from my domain this is what I talk about in my course which I released just a couple of days ago this is what I talk about in my book this is what I talk about in my older videos it's all about this it's all about the shortcut to the big sale like how do we actually jump from not having business experience not having any income uh, from business to a situation where you are closing these big sales because most people again they think in terms of uh, small you know think like oh I'll make a small sale first or I'll just make a lot of small sales you know I just want to start small I'm not yet good enough I'm not sure I'm you know in the right position I'm not sure I can do it and uh, that's how they get stuck they basically go to like this purgatory uh, and it fucks you over because of many reasons first of all uh, it's a lot harder to sell something cheap than to sell something expensive uh, when you don't have experience. So what that means is uh, when you just start selling and you still haven't gotten the experience of being a salesperson uh, in the sense that you know you sell something, um, you don't know how a sale works. So you think that selling cheap things will be sort of this easy automatic process. So you don't even end up putting any effort into selling uh, your cheap stuff. So you just try to like put, put it out and hope that somebody uh, just catches it but because you don't understand selling uh, and you're not trying then it, it comes out really 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 bad uh, but on the other hand when you sell like something expensive uh, you're like shit oh my god this costs a lot I need to you know make sure I sell it well then at least you're trying so th that's like a huge huge difference hope you got that uh, minute uh, difference that I just pointed out to you um, now going beyond that when you sell something that's expensive, something that costs, uh, let's say, $1,000, people are going to respect you more. So whether or not you actually make the sale, whether or not you actually know what you're talking about, if you're able to look someone in the eye or just, again, be calm and relax and just say, yeah, the price is uh, $2,000 per month, uh, immediately people will feel like you're trying to sell something that's premium, that's special, that's luxury, uh, because if you, uh, someone who tries to sell something uh, that's expensive and he's calm and he really doesn't care, uh, that just shows the other person that you probably do that all the time because subconsciously they know that, you know, if you are selling this, if you are trying, it means you're probably getting it. It's like if you came up to a supermodel and just, you know, hit on her like, hey, what's up? How are you doing? You know, all chill, like you don't care about it. Uh, she will get attracted very fast because she'll feel like hey this guy already hangs out with supermodels because everybody else is nervous when they talk to me so it must mean he's used to it so if you're able to be like yeah that's the price two thousand dollars blah, blah blah and really calm uh, or at least you, you show them <laughs> that you're calm even if you're not uh, you will create a really serious aura of respect and people will try to qualify themselves and get themselves to uh, maybe even get some of the product you know just let me pay you like five hundred dollars let me try like two hundred dollars three hundred dollars you know I wish I could afford it you know maybe I'll pay you half up front stuff like that uh, people will respect you a lot lot more and the next difference is that when you sell cheap shit that's the way I refer to like cheap products um, which is ironic because I do sell like a forty dollar book now um, but the when you sell like cheap stuff the the way it works differently is that you're gonna need a bigger mass of uh, people so right now my book for example I need roughly like 30 40 50 people to sign up uh, just to sell one $40 book 
Uh, I know statistics from other online marketer friend, online marketing friends of mine. Uh, people that are making like over a hundred thousand dollars a month, uh, almost in like almost profit, like seventy, sixty thousand dollars in profit every month uh, passively, and they're telling me like, hey, I'm getting one in twenty, one in twenty-five for less expensive products, like seventy-dollar books, stuff like that. Um, so you know, as a new somebody who's new, uh, who's never marketed before, you're not gonna get uh, the you know the fifty view, fifty uh, visits to your website a day that you need to get one sale every day. Um, you just not because <laughs> you, you won't be able to create it. You, you either don't have the uh, you know the fans yet. You don't have the traffic yet from the content. You know, you just don't got it. You know, <laughs> and you don't know how to um, how to advertise yet. So that's out of the option. By the way, don't advertise to sell cheap stuff. It, you know, doesn't work. <laughs> um, again, everything is real, really bad when you do it like this. But on the other hand, if you sold something that's expensive, and especially if you sold it on the phone, so. Basically, with uh, like a, an application form, just go, get on a call with me. We'll talk, and then you give them value, and then you try to sell something uh, that's related to what you just gave value. Like, for example, I give you like value. I help you, like, ba ba ba. Yeah, do this, do this. You know, I give you a ton of value for like an hour, two hours, three hours, and I'm like, yeah. So my coaching is like three thousand dollars. Blah, blah blah. Bam! I close. You know, one in four, one in five, and the rest I don't close. Not because they don't want to, but simply because they can't afford it. Or because it's you know it's just not the right fit, so I don't even try to close them. Uh, but if you, you know, th th that's how you really get these easy closes is you do it on the phone and you actually give value because it's a lot harder to give value online before you have experience uh, than it is to. It's a lot harder to do that than it is to give value on the phone about something you know, something you're good at. So you want to start doing it. You want to start you know making these sales again. Find something you can sell for over a thousand dollars. If it's not your own product or your own service, you know, coaching or, or like uh, where you help businesses do something or whatever. But if it's not a product or a service of yours, you can just be an affiliate. You can find somebody who sells a product for like two, three thousand uh, dollars, maybe even something for a thousand dollars, and just convince them to let you sell that, to let you sell it. All you need is four or five people. Per week to get on a call with you, uh, the right people. I mean, people with money, people usually from the United States, who you know are, are like decent people, like like not you know the creme de la creme, you know the the, the cream of the crop, in English, uh, not the best of the best, but but like uh, fairly good people, you know, and also not like shit people, like people who are like leeches or negative or stuff. So it's really that easy. Um, that's what I recommend. Like, if you try to do it any other way, I feel like you are setting yourself up for either failure or a long, long struggle. Because the moment you realize that this works, that you can actually uh, make, you know, a sale every week, you just need like four or five calls, uh, and like, bam, you're already making like four thousand a month. Uh, your life changes because, again, that's the point where you start traveling. And then when you start traveling, uh, more people are gonna follow you because now you look cool. <laughs> Um, then your confidence goes up, and then you, your prices goes up, go up, and then more traffic, and uh, now you're gonna start creating like uh, your cheap shit, you know, your cheap shit products, basically, uh, like a book or whatever, uh, and that's how you go on the up and up. Uh, again, first you take care of the main part of the income, which is selling your high ticket products, and then you take care of the small items, which again are harder to sell. Uh, if your goal is to live off of these sales, it's a lot harder to sell 50 books uh, that cost like $15 uh, than it is to sell uh, two, three people on $2,000 products. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe if you haven't. And if you're interested in this kind of stuff, uh, sign up on my free, uh, you know, on my website. Get the free five-step blueprint to doing this. I t explain from start to finish how to sell high-ticket items, how to market them, how to find the right people, how to set up the funnel, mistakes you're gonna make, like everything. And that's all for free. Cause 
you know me, I like to impress you with cheap stuff and free stuff. See you soon. <laughs>